Is this the future of trail riding? Is this the cheater bike that's going to turn enduro cross upside down? Have we been missing the boat on how to make trail bikes since the craze of long travel suspension machines led us astray? Or have the trials guys had it all along and been holding out? Well, it was a long, treacherous road. But we got our hands on a Scarpa T-Ride and we'll answer these questions and more in Dirt Riders version of We Ride Another Weird Bike. Hey, you guys asked for it. I'd be the first to tell you that I'm often led to and attracted by strange and awkward bikes. I've liked Huskies, Pusebergs and Gas Gases in the world of Hondas, Yamahas and KDMs. I liked four strokes before they came back and liked two strokes before they slip away. So throw me a bone in the form of one of the strangest dirt bikes to come down the pike in a long time, and I might just go head over heels. Well, the Scarpa seems to fit right in that niche between trials and trail. It's a gap that Gas Gas tried to fill with its pamper a while back, a concept that just didn't catch on and was never improved upon. The pamper was more of a putt-putt rail, dual sport bike with an expensive price tag and the performance of a CRF 230F in motor and suspension. Where the T-Ride takes a 90 degree turn from this is right at birth. It's constructed with the Yamaha WR250F motor as a power plant, tuned and geared for its different chassis. Most notable is the use of the 20-